Alright guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the latest version of the Citron Nintendo Switch emulator for Windows PC. Now this is going to work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this is the updated version of 0.10.0. .0. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the very first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be two links. The first link is going to be for the Citron emulator download page. The second link is going to be for the latest firmware of 20.5.0. So you're going to need to match the firmware with the prod keys. Now the only two things I cannot provide are going to be the prod keys and the games. So you're going to need to obtain these on your own. You're going to need to create a Switch Games folder uh, with games in .nsp or .xei format. Now the compatibility uh, should be very high for this emulator. As for the controllers, you can use PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Switch Pro Controller, etc. So I'm going to be leaving you uh, two links where you can get the emulator from. So the first link, you're going to scroll down on the page. This is going to tell you the enhanced uh, performance improvements this is going to allow for 4k resolution advanced graphics uh, coming soon will be the save states it's going to have a higher controller support for different uh, controllers now as for the game compatibility um, 85 percent great 12 percent good or playable and only three percent in progress so system requirements, Windows 10 or 11, 64-bit, CPU, Intel Core i5, a AMD Ryzen. Uh, as for the RAM, 8 gigabyte minimum, and for storage, uh, 2 gigabytes. Now this is going to be the other page that I'm going to be leaving you. So these improvements were a collaboration of uh, three uh, creators so uh, TSR Barry, J Pikachu and Moffitt uh, so this is going to show you all the improvements if you guys want to go through it now just keep scrolling down until you find the download section so this is going to be available for Linux Android and Windows PC so we, we are going to go to the Citron slash Windows 0.10.0.zip file. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. So the next link is going to be for the latest firmware. So just scroll down the page until you find the asset section. You're going to need to download the firmware 20.5.0zip file. You're going to also need to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. So now that we have all the files, so the first folder is for the Citron emulator, second folder is for the latest firmware, the third folder is going to be for the prod keys, and the last folder is going to be for the Switch games. Now we are going to load up the emulator, so double click on the folder, you're going to load up the citron.exe file, so this is going to be the emulator. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we are going to add the games. So double click on the plus button. You're going to find your games folder. Select it. And then your games will populate. Uh, next thing we need to do is going to be installing the prod keys. So go over to tools. Install decryption keys. You're going to find your keys folder. You're going to select prod keys. And then go to open. And there you go, they have been successfully installed. Next thing is the firmware. So go back up to tools. Um, install firmware. Uh, you can pick either the zip file or the folder. I'm just going to select the folder. You're going to look for your folder for the firmware. Select it. This shouldn't take too long, just give it a second. So there you go, now we are on the latest um, firmware. 
if you want to install updates and DLCs, you're going to go to File, Install Files to NAND, and then find your folder, install them that way. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we are going to go into the Emulation section, uh, go down to Configure. So I'm just going to go through all the steps. Uh, so under General, um, everything is set up. UI, um, you can choose your theme. I have it as dark theme. You can change the icon size um, and stuff like that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Now system. Um, if you want to change your language and region, you can do that. Uh, the memory layout, make sure it's 4GB DRAM default. CPU, make sure you have it auto. Under graphics, the API is going to be Vulkan. And the device is going to be your graphics card. Now scroll down the list. Uh, full screen mode, I have it as exclusive full screen. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. As for the resolution, I have mine at 3x. The window adapting filter by linear. Uh, everything else should be set up. Now graphics. The accuracy level is going to be high. The filtering automatic. AST compression. Uncompressed for best quality. And then the VRAM will be conservative. Audio is set up. The input. Now this is going to be your controller. Now I am using the Xbox One controller. Which is going to be already configured. If you guys want to use a different controller. You're going to have to map out the buttons. So you're going to go over to Pro Controller. You're going to select your controller. And then it's going to be mapped out. If you don't like any of the buttons. And you want to remap them. You can do that. Now create your profile. And then apply. And then go to OK. Under the hotkeys, uh, you can change your hotkeys. Uh, the only one I really use is the F11, which is going to allow you to play in full screen. This is network, web. Now we're going to go over, file system. Uh, this is going to be your profile. Applet, if you want to use applet mode, you can set this up. And that's basically it. Uh, now make sure that you apply and then go to OK. And now you're all set up to play the games. Uh, so to start a game, you just double click on the game. And there you go, the game loads up. Like I said, uh, this has a really high compatibility. So this should be one of the best uh, Nintendo Switch emulators for Windows PC. I will leave all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.